Welcome to Photoshop. I'm Jesse. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save an image from Photoshop. Now, you might think this is really straightforward, but the key here is not just saving an image, but saving it for web. For example, I can go to File and Save or Save As, and that's perfectly fine. Just select the format and you're good to go. But what if you want to save it for the web? And, well, you might think, well, what's the difference? The difference is that some websites use different color profiles than the one in your picture. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Pictures are taken using certain color qualities. They're digital pictures, so we emulate the, the color using different color spaces. There's Adobe RGB, there's sRGB, there are all, all kinds of ones that are out there. The problem is when the website has uses a different a standard color profile than your picture, and it will try to convert your picture to that website's color quality which can cause problems with your picture. Usually this just means that your picture loses some of its color. For example, I know this happens with DeviantArt. If, for example, when I used to upload pictures to DeviantArt, I would just save them as regular JPEGs and then upload them. And what I would notice is that some color quality was lost. So it was, it was as if I had desaturated my own pictures. So to avoid this, what we have to do is go to File and Save for Web. What this does is it brings up a little dia dialog box and right here it looks all black. That's because my picture is so zoomed in to actually 100%. So we can go and actually command zero and fit it to screen. And you'll notice that it's very grainy. That's just because it's compressing it for the purpose of how it looks right now. So what we have up here is the original image, the optimized image, and then the two up and four up. And so what this is showing is different versions of the picture. So here's the original and here's a compressed version. It's showing you how big of a file size it is and how much smaller it is. So let's just stick with optimized. We don't really need to worry about this too much. What we need to worry about is the stuff here on the side. So first of all, select what uh, format you want. I want a JPEG, so I'm going to stick with JPEG. The quality, well, Maximum is fine. I'm not really concerned right now with the file size. So maximum quality. Make sure your blur is off. Sometimes if you have blur, it can cause the picture to look slightly weird. And so once this loads, you'll notice it actually smooths out this picture. But if I vamp it up too much, lots of pictures, you will lose a lot of quality. And so you want to turn your blur off. And sometimes you might need to fiddle around with this and blur off will actually result in a very cruddy looking picture. The important step is convert to sRGB right here. You want to make sure that is actually selected. I just unselected it so you could see me actually selecting it for no real reason. And what this does is it basically converts it to the standard kind of web uh, RGB space, but it also embeds the quality, the picture space into the picture itself so that you don't really lose color data when you upload it to websites. The final step that you can do is change the image size. So for example, do I really need a picture that's 4,000 pixels wide if I'm going to upload it to a website? Probably not. And so I could just change it right there to say 2,000, press tab, and it converts the picture and I can see how big it actually is. And then all you have to do is press save and go through the standard steps of finding where your picture is saved to. That's all for saving it for the web. I hope this is useful and I hope you employ this method when you save pictures for uploading to DeviantArt, Tumblr, or wherever you want to upload them to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.